Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Phonix, and today is going to be episode 4 of Elite Showcase. And if any of you guys are new to my channel, basically what this series is, is I take an Elite weapon, in this case the MP11 Goliath, and I kind of give it like a spotlight, I show you the stats, I give you guys the pros and cons of the weapon, and tell you basically whether it's worth keeping, and in the background there will be a gameplay. So the gameplay in the background today is going to be a 2 minute and 50 second DNA bomb, and like I said, I'm using the MP11 Goliath. This is probably my favorite version of the MP11. Quite arguably, it's the best version of the MP11 that you can get. So I'm going to throw a picture on screen right now so you guys can see the stats. And as you guys can see, it's got plus 3 damage and minus 3 handling. And that's a pretty good trade-off in my opinion, because the damage is probably one of the best stats that you can increase besides fire rate. And the only drawbacks to the weapon is minus 3 handling, like I said, which would be hip fire spread. And it's really not even that noticeable because the SMGs have fairly good hip fire spread as it is. So if you're really worried about the minus three of the hip fire spread, then just throw a laser sight on this bad boy and you're good to go. But like I said, this gun is an absolute beast with the plus three damage. It's really noticeable at like medium to long range where an SMG kind of normally drops off on damage. This weapon doesn't really do that. It's a four shot kill to extreme ranges and an MP11 normally extends out to a six shot kill but this weapon will only go to a 5 shot kill because of the plus 3 damage. So ever since they buffed the MP11 just recently, they buffed the MP11 and the ASM1 as you guys know, just because a lot of the people in the community wanted them to buff the SMGs, which I think is a great move because it encourages movement, and me personally I love SMGs because I just love how fast you can move, especially in this game where um, you have the exo boost and you know the exo movements and all that. Having an SMG and having lightweight on and the ability to just fly around the map it's so much fun for me. Like this is my favorite way to play Call of Duty. Like I just love the whole like rushing aspect of it and just getting in enemies faces and just doing the most damage as fast as you can. You know, that's what's fun for me. So, if you guys enjoy this type of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But yeah, this weapon is definitely like I said one of the best versions of the MP11 that you can get. There's also another version called the Deceiver, which is an enlisted version that has plus 1 damage. Now, that's a good version, but like I said it's not as good as this. Probably the best three attachments that I would run on this gun, like what I'm running in this game, is I'm running the foregrip, the extended mags, and the advanced rifling. You can run a silencer on this weapon if you want. You can like it's one of those weapons where you can get away with running a silencer if you want to. But me personally, I feel like it's not necessary just because I'm running system hack and it's basically a counter UAV, so they can't see me on the minimap anyway. Extended mags is probably crucial just because the weapon fires so fast and you're going to run out of ammo quickly. Scavenger is probably a must too just so you can reload on scav packs. But um, alright, gameplay is wrapping up guys. It was a quick one today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 4 of Elite Showcase. It's been the MP11 Goliath. My name is Phonix. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and I'm out. Peace!